<laughs> now, Jared answers. Hmm. Did it, did you mm-hmm. catch why he came to the ring with handcuffs on? Yeah, because of his brothers in prison, mm-hmm. and it was a and he, yeah, it was locked up. Akon, you know, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah. Like shit. Came but, out, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I get a uh, tribute to his brother. I, I was worried that they were going wasn't gonna get the uh, cuffs off the legs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a little mini. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried yeah. about. But I understand I, it, the, it was deeper. Akon song is playing, and I could not stop thinking about you and Carson. <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> Y'all, you, you know how we talk about- I was never been locked up. Yeah, about to say, y'all been locked up? No, what is going on? I've been locked up. That shit to sell? You know how we- how no. we I was up there chopping up when I was in jail, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, man, yeah, I'm not hiring y'all guys. Probably was. Yeah, yeah, I was. Probably was. I was up there, it was like 48 hours. You know how y'all always be, be ragging on uh, Chris Algeri, and y'all say- uh, uh, we're keeping them in the cage. Oh, keeping yeah. them in the cage. The whole the whole song was playing. The only thing I could think of was hit. Let, was let, let I said say. Chris Algeri skills is saying locked up. <laughs> <laughs> won't let me My out. thing was the other, the other thing with the handcuffs. I was like, please don't tell me he's cuffed around the the, the arms too. I said yeah, they went all the way with it. Yeah, they went all the way yeah. with it. No, hey, he, he was just all it. the way with his outfits though, yeah. bro. He does. He but does. It, do it. it was all the respect to his brother that's mm-hmm. in prison right now. I didn't catch it. I, I didn't yeah. know if he was trying to, you know, say something about yeah. something people been saying about him. So all right, mm. good to hear that. Uh, you know, he's he's shouting out and you know supporting and things like that. But in the ring, mm. this dude is on another level. Mm. Hey, we, we seen what we seen. Torres fight, militant, uh, Jogbe. Yeah, FA, yeah. Hey, FA, hey, yeah. Jogbe. hey, and it's different. Yeah. yeah. When Jared fight, it's different. You yeah. can see it. Yeah. He's special. Jared yeah. is like a heavyweight, no, a midweight in a heavyweight's body. Yeah. Like, that's actually, they actually said that. That's crazy. They, 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 like, they, 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 they definitely they, said that yeah. on the air, too. Yeah. But uh, no, but like, I've always said that even when, like, you know, me and him was on the team together and everything, like, he does moves that I do. Mm-hmm. And just as fast. And, like, you know, he just used that IQ and, you know, implemented that in the ring. And a lot of these heavyweights, they're not, like, you know, used to that. They're not mm-hmm. used to that type of movement. They're not used to that type of speed and, you know, angles or whatever, like, he uses mm-hmm. to do to beat these guys. Like, I know it's in the first round. <clears throat> I think he went southpaw. And, uh, you know, the guy is kind of, like, keeping him at bay a little bit. But he's getting his shots off here and there. But then after a while, he just starts the second round. He really starts to pick up the body shots and start tearing him down. Yeah. I was like, oh, that, like, I love watching fights <laughs> like that. Like, seeing the guy get beat down and then go down to the body and then seeing the, the opponent just get psychologically taken out the fight. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that's the beauty of boxing. Like, the much punch yeah. knockout. Like, that's that's the ultimate way to win in, in, in some ways, yeah. But, like, the really, like, me, what I like to enjoy is watching a guy just get beat down. Beautiful. I feel like that's, like, real brutal. That's yeah. more brutal than that one punch boom, you know? And, that's and for me. Sure, sure. I, I, was, I was saying the same thing. I was like, you know, you seen the championship rounds and you see a guy starting to break down break a guy down he was breaking him down in the first and second round yeah just breaking him down you yeah. could just see the guy just falling apart yeah he yelled he yelled outside to somebody say it won't go it won't go more than another round yeah. I said, oh, okay <laughs> I he like, said yeah he, he was yelling some- at the guy to get up after he knocked him down he's like get up <laughs> get up <laughs> the guy looking hell at him nah, like, hell <laughs> crazy yeah. the dude sat up like it's, when he went down he sat up immediately so I yeah. thought he was gonna get up and I was like dang all right, nine, no more 10 nah. okay see he was see he got caught and got dropped by that punch but he was out of the fight mentally already, uh-huh. so he oh, wasn't yeah. getting up yeah he I was, was just about to say that, that so that's what makes from what I can see Jared Anderson so special is the fact that he has he has something that can beat everybody He's got the speed. He's got the quickness. He's got the agility. He's got the combination and punt ability. He, he's he's big. He's tall, so he can fight from the outside. But he's got the experience, so he can fight on the inside. He's got power. Um, but then he ha- also has that mechanism that will make your brain mm-hmm. go 100 miles per hour mm-hmm. and fatigue you mm-hmm. mentally, which will fatigue you physically. You know what I mean? So he's he's breaking guys down physically. He's also breaking down di- breaking down di- breaking guys down mentally. He's he's breaking guys down methodically. I mean, I I I got nothing but good things to say about Jared Anderson. I, yeah. I mean, I've been a fan since day one, and I, I I knew knew of him when he was a kid. But you know, coming onto the scene as a heavyweight in the pro game, as soon as I caught wind of that, I said, "Oh, he's the next guy," mm-hmm. because I knew that you know I'm y'all know I'm real big on the amateur mm-hmm. pedigrees. You you just you can't beat it. And then when you have all the components that go along with that pedigree, the way that he does. It's it's inevitable for him to become a champion one day. We don't. Want, I don't want to, you know, 
graduate him too soon, but it, it's it's inevitable. He he's gonna get there. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to. I'm it. gonna ask you to prospect a contender last night. It's time to put him up there. Ooh, you said for who? He's no longer a prospect. Oh yeah, no, it's he's contender. A, yeah, yep. yeah. I, I I don't see him. I I stopped seeing that as a prospect. Yeah, because they, they left, keep saying like, that. No, no, he's not a prospect anymore. Like, bring let let let. let let that be, be for us, like from yeah, guys like me. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to compete with Jared a little bit. Now that we start playing, but no, also on a serious note, like yeah, no, I honestly feel like yeah, he's a he's a contender now, mm -hmm. and uh, you know he's shooting for the titles. As he's he's in talks for like wanting to shoot, have his eyes on the titles and stuff like that pretty soon. So uh, I honestly see him going that way, and uh, yeah, no, he I, he has the tools to you know get them straps. Top rank is smart. Yeah, they don't want anybody to graduate him any sooner than they're gonna move him. Yeah, yeah. So that's their way of letting us know, like, hey, if y'all think he's a contender, y'all want to see him in a heavyweight championship fight, not yet. Mm -hmm. And the best way to tell you that without actually seeing it and without you know making it seem like he's not ready or anything like that, we'll just keep talking about him as as being a prospect. Yeah, yeah. No, until, that's until smart. It's true. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. So that's smart. Until until the time's ready. Till till this time. Uh, just a, a name I like to throw out there. I like to see him in there with. No, the guy's not too not too big, but out of Wildland, he gave Tyson Fury hell. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that fight. Mm -hmm. Just a, Jared will pick him apart. I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> you we know, see you it. know. Yeah, yeah. You want to see but, it? But it's a name, and that name's connected somebody to somebody else that he gave hell. Yeah. yeah. So now it's like, if you wasn't on notice now, okay. Yeah. I, it's just, I, I see. I see why you just want that. And, and you're on to something. So yeah. if we don't see that in this next fight that he has, we probably see it. Make a fight or two down the line, it mm -hmm. could actually be him out of Wildland. So, yeah, it could actually be him on so. the right side of the, you know, right side of the street. You do your thing every now and then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I knew, I, knew, I, I knew my man was here. I ain't know my man, my man. I thought my backup was definitely gonna be here. <laughs>